Each month, the woman's reproductive system readies itself for pregnancy. This involves a really intricate interplay between the brain, the ovaries and the uterus. The brain signals down to the ovaries to grow an egg, which is to be ovulated. If conception occurs, the uterus is already prepared for that pregnancy. Welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Dr. Kath Whitten and I'm a fertility specialist with IVF Australia. Let's take a look at ovulation and conception. Having an understanding of your menstrual cycle is a really good first step to being able to conceive. The menstrual cycle is broken up into two phases. A textbook normal menstrual cycle is around 28 days and it's broken up into half. So the first half of the cycle is the follicular phase. In this part of the cycle, an egg grows and it grows to dominance. At around day 14 or halfway through that cycle, that one dominant egg is ovulated. The second half of the cycle is called the luteal phase. And in this half of the cycle, the uterine lining is preparing for pregnancy. So what happens is if that dominant ovulated egg is fertilized, an embryo is created, and then towards the end of that second half of the cycle, it moves its way down through the fallopian tubes into the uterus and hopefully implants. And this is where it can create a pregnancy. When you're trying to conceive, the most important aspect of that menstrual cycle is around the middle of the cycle, so around ovulation. What's happening at ovulation is that your estrogen level is slowly rising as the egg grows. This then prompts an LH surge. So LH is luteinizing hormone, which is a hormone that comes down from the pituitary gland in the brain and talks to the ovaries. What LH does is it makes that egg go through the final maturation stages and then promotes ovulation. Also around that time, you may notice that the cervical mucus is quite slippery. This helps the, the sperm penetrate the cervix and make its way up into the uterus to meet that ovulated egg. So the ideal timing for conception is around that ovulation period. So this is a woman's most fertile window. So having timed intercourse from around day 10 or 12 and having it every second day around that period, so day 10, 12, 14, 16, should cover a woman's fertile window ideally. We know that sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. So if we've got sperm already there waiting for the egg to come out, that is ideal for conception. If an egg, however, is not fertilized, it just gets dissolved or goes away within about 24 hours. And if an egg is not fertilized and there's no embryo that's coming down into the uterus to create conception, the woman's progesterone level falls. And this is what starts the next menstrual cycle. So understanding your menstrual cycle is really key to helping you on your journey to parenthood. Every body is unique, however. So getting to know your body will help you. Thanks for watching. For more information and for all things fertility, feel free to subscribe.